1986, my dad had prostate cancer. And we didn't think it was going to be any big deal. They told, them, they told everybody, yeah, we can control this. We, we heard about the event. We thought we would do it. Dolly and I did it together. We had a great time doing it. We met a lot of great people. And we came back the next year, but you know, my dad's cancer got pretty serious and he died in 89. So we kind of committed at that time to really taking it seriously and trying to raise as much money as we could and continue doing it for as long as we felt we could do it. First time I could drive, they asked me to drive out to Sturbridge and drop them off. <laughs> uh, probably 16, 17 years old, drove out there, um, saw the whole scene, dropped them off, said good luck and left and said, that's pretty interesting. A little, little more came on life and uh, I went to get married and I picked my wedding date and unfortunately according to my mother, I picked the wrong date, I picked PMC weekend. Therefore I changed my, bit, my, wed my wedding date and we picked the following weekend and I said after that, if it's that important to my family, then it's time for me to figure out what it's all about. So I was on the board of directors of South Shore Hospital um, back in the early 2000s and the cancer center was coming online and I realized that this was an opportunity to direct my fundraising to keep it local. So I began doing it at that time and continued ever since. I was really happy. We didn't have a team back then. We didn't create a team until probably seven or eight years ago. So they built the team and I was happy to be part of that team and uh, we, we hope that we can keep the team growing and uh, keep raising more money to keep it local. Getting up early in the morning knowing that you're going to be, you know, working out there you are inspired by a lot of people that have been fighting cancer and you realize that going up a hill or getting up at 5.30 in the morning really is not that difficult. And it's so much easier than having to go into Dana-Farber and get treated for all the things they have to be treated for. It's a great event. It's full of great people. And the weekend, even though it's a lot of riding, it's a lot of fun. It's a celebration of all the work that we do, the work for fundraising and the, and the work for training. You know, it all comes together on that weekend and you do it with a lot of people all in the same situation, all committed to the same cause, all doing the same work. So, And a lot of our donors don't want us to stop. You know, people want to support Dana-Farber. They want to cure cancer, so they're, they're happy to donate and they, they want us to be the vehicle. We've done it for 38 years. They're, they're proud of being part of our team.